Hello everyone, it is Gretchen and today we are going to make a dye pouch. These are so simple and very, very affordable um, to make and create because we use these uh, button uh, file bags and we just alter them and then add a closure and I'm super excited to share that with you today so uh, stay tuned and we will get to that. Okay so here we are um, today we are going to make a couple of these um, actually just going to show you how to make one um, but always look for um, packs that have three items in them or more because some of them have only two and you get way more for your money. Uh, so this is actually going to make, it, instead of three, this is going to make six and um, so uh, less than less than 33 cents a piece, um, like 15 cents maybe. Three, let's see, 15, that's 30. 60, 90, uh, about 18 cents a piece, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so anywho, um, we're going to take one and put the other two aside. Now, these are um, really um, only three pro or four products that you'll need. So you will need uh, the pouch, a ruler, a cutting blade of some sort. You could also use a uh, pair of scissors and when you mark it just you know go that way. Um, but um, here is how we're going to do it. We are going to just remove the center of this on either side. Oh and you will also need a writing instrument. I'm going to use a, a sharpie. So what you're going to do is you're going to mark uh, from the side you're going to mark six inches in. I think you can see that. So six inches in there and six inches nope uh actually yeah so six inches in there and make sure that this is again always you know measure measure twice cut once so there's six we're going to actually move this over to there okay so now you are going to line up your lines as best you can taking your your ruler and your cutting instrument and then you're going to just cut okay so there's one okay put that off to the side do the same thing to the other side, always measuring from from this this uh, good edge to the other edge. Okay, so there is six there, and six there. Again line up the lines okay oops wrong instrument <laughs> ah, oh the great thing of you know making videos and not editing or making a new one so this you're going to just toss um, you, you know if you want to keep it find another use for it I'm not going to because I don't need it. So now our uh, writing instrument and our cutting blade are done. The next step is to close up 
this raw edge and what I found is double-sided tape um, always when you're doing this always go on the shorter edge see how this one's shorter than this because then you know you've got enough um, into the um, you know at, at the very top and you're not going you know you're not overusing you know or overshooting your your uh, your line okay so what I do is I just I start by getting way down here by the crease adding just a little bit there so that when I go to close it it's going to be all the way down to the bottom then I just run a let's see if I can do this so you can see <laughs> okay so then I'm just gonna run along this cut edge I'm going to run let's do it the other way because this will be better running a line as best you can all the way down doesn't matter how you know if you're on or off and I just did a lot off um, and then going from this you know from the from this side and I'm sorry I'm out of frame um, over to this make sure that you get it flat and press this down really well if you need to add just a tiny bit more you can peel it up a little bit and add just a little bit right there okay now there is the pouch now what we're going to do is make the um, the velcro dot or um, hook and loop dot closure okay and again I got these um, I got these at the Dollar Tree you can find them in the craft section and um, go from there uh, so let's take let's take two of those and the best way to do that so that you get them lined up is just put the hook and loop together okay you can you see that put the hook and loop together and I like to put the um, the hook side on the flap and then just place it wherever you want okay and I usually will do it up in this area okay so now it is going to be where I want it okay so there is pouch number one and what I do then is I take oops sorry some uh, sturdy cardboard and I have used the uh, gift boxes that you can get at Dollar Tree um, as well and I just cut a strip to hold that rigid um, and I'll show you the uh, on this previously created one and it just holds it uh, rigid so that it doesn't flop over in wherever you're storing them and I will then measure from the where the tape ends to um, to over on the side and make it just a little bit smaller. So there is a uh, pouch to uh, hold your die cuts in. You could also put um, let's see some where are some other things that I could put in there. You could put in a die set or die and punch set. And I don't have any currently right here to show you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's do it with this one. So you could just um, leave that all together. This was one that I got from um, uh, Michael's, I think. Yeah, um, there is one that's that I haven't put back in here, but. Um, you know if it does come with its own cardboard just leave it in there and you'll have your die uh, your die set your stamp and die set in um, all together I also have done uh, let's see where's my big one I did one that was for um, okay here is here is a here's one that I did for one that I got from uh, wish I got that uh, die from Wish. Uh, and these are all empty. Um, let's see, I did a couple 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to probably do that to this one, which is the Sizzix. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, card making set. And there's like, what, 20 some, 22 dies in there. So I want to keep them. Um, you know, in there available. Um, now this one does, this one I don't need to because it's got its own plastic uh, sheath to keep in um, in there. So I don't even need that one. I can just uh, keep that. Um, and they're approximately the same size. Yeah, they are exactly the same size. So when I put them in my, my filing system, which right now is just a plastic container, they're all the same size and then I can just flip through. Um, I could write on the, you know, on the top of the flap what it is. Like this one will be um, a, a hummingbird um, die. Um, this one is Valentine's Day die. This one is circle die. Um, cir lacy circle die. And just go from there. So anyway, guys, um, I hope that has helped you, um, you know, get creative in your own uh, craft room. And um, this is not my own, this is not my own, uh, uh, this is not an original for me. I found it from somebody else, but I took it in my own direction with the um, the Elmer's Tape Runner. You can get this also at the Dollar Tree, and um, I believe you can. Anyway, um, if you can't, you, I know you can get it at Walmart. So I um, hope you guys have found that really uh, informative, uh, helpful to you in your organization, in your craft room. If you did like this, comment, like, and subscribe down below, hit the little bell so you don't miss any of the great uh, videos that are coming your way in the next few weeks. Have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.